We're looking at Boolean variables now. Boolean variables can only have two values. They're either true or false. So in some sense, they're very, very simple. What we're going to do is look at these two lines of code. So I'm going to grab those two. Uh, good news is they already use the variable x. So that's convenient because our variable is called x. So it's going to be true. This even flag is going to be true of x. So this right here, modulus means the remainder after you divide it by 2. And it compares that to 0. So if x divides by 2 with no remainder, then it's going to be even. Separately, we're going to compare x to 0. If x is greater than 0, then this Boolean value will be true. And if x is 0 or less, this positive flag Boolean value will be false. And now we can use that inside of our if statement. So we'll go if even flag x is even, else x is odd. OK. So let's run that. Uh, enter a number, 2. Uh, 2 is even. Run again. Enter a number, 7. 7 is odd. OK. So it's a way to do a computation beforehand and then use the value, the true or false value here. Sometimes this is uh, better, sometimes not. You can, of course, negate it as they do over here. So if I put the exclamation point in front of even flag and run it, I'll get the opposite. So 4, 4 is odd. And we can, of course, check positive flag as well. Positive flag X is even and positive. Control shift down, alt shift down. So even and negative. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the else part. It's, we'll just make sure it's even. Enter a number. Let's go with eight. Eight's even and positive. So we want another even one, we'll do negative 6, is even and negative. So you can see it running even and negative, even and positive. You can, of course, do the... Actually, let's go ahead and finish this. I'm just going to paste over there. we got odd, odd, and now if we run it, it'll go uh, tell us even, odd, positive, and negative correctly because we got all of our even stuff up here, all of our odd stuff down here. Sometimes putting in comments, x is even, x is odd. So it's even more obvious, ha, ah, even more obvious, um, where uh, we checked even. And then, because it doesn't say down here, it doesn't have the actual condition. It's just the opposite of even. So when even is false, you're down here, which logically means x is odd.